Ever wondered where soil comes from? It starts with rocks breaking down over thousands of years. Weathering is the first step in soil formation. It is the natural process that breaks down rocks into smaller particles, which eventually contribute to soil formation. It occurs in three main types. Physical weathering. Rocks are broken into smaller fragments by physical forces, and there is no change in the mineral composition. Examples. Frost action, thermal expansion, abrasion by wind, water, or glaciers. Next type of weathering is chemical weathering. Decomposition is due to chemical reactions, and it alters the chemical composition of minerals in rocks. Examples. Hydrolysis, oxidation, carbonation. Last type of weathering is biological weathering. It is the breakdown of rocks and minerals caused by the activities of living organisms, such as plants, animals, bacteria, fungi, and lichens. Next step is formation location, residual versus transported soil. If the soil is formed by the prolonged weathering of bedrock and remains directly above the rock from which it formed, is called as residual soil. And if the soil that has been moved from its place of origin by natural agents like water, wind, ice, or gravity, and deposited in a new location, it is called as transported soil. Transported soils are classified by mode of transportation. Like if the soil is deposited by river water, it is called as alluvial soil, and if soil is transported by wind, it is called as aeolian soil. Similarly, glacial soil, colluvial soil, marine soil, and lacustrine soil. Soil formation equals weathering plus time plus transport. Respect the ground you build on. Subscribe for more civil engineering insights.